Hi, my name is Barry Foster. And I'm Gary Foster. And welcome back to Antipodean Journey with the Aldershot Save. And yes. Gary, today a big um, Carabao Cup first round clash. Yeah, we've taken uh, these cup competitions pretty seriously and that's paid off last year when we uh, won the FA Trophy. Um, we've picked a pretty strong side for, for this away game uh, against Forest Green and we're reasonably confident that we can uh, pick up the biscuits because we, we had a good result in the league during the week. We did indeed. In fact, uh, we beat Oldham away from home one goal to nil and the new signing Drennan once again uh, got onto the, uh, the scorers list which was very, uh, very good. And we'll take a very quick look at the goal because it wasn't a bad one Yeah, that he scored. The, picked the ball up from halfway. Long ball out of defence and he bears in on goal and sticks it away. Very clinical finish. Mm. Yeah, there were some anxious moments in our, our defence because that was the that was the only goal of the, the game. But the boys hang on. The defence was pretty rock solid. And we're two from two. Absolutely, yes. Aldershot sitting in second position with uh, three other teams on six points. So a very promising start to uh, life in League Two. But um, let's go to Forest Green for this cup cap. Mm. OK, so this is the lineup for today's game against Forest Green. We've got Zabret in goal, mm. uh, Kinsella, Finney, Sendles White and Woodward across the back line. Uh, Sharif sitting behind Early and Edsa. Nubel on the left, Tanner on the right, and Fondop will lead our attacking line. So a few changes there to the starting 11. And on the bench we'll have uh, Mitch Walker as a, a goalie, Lyons Foster, Lang Langston, Alfie Whittingham, Penny U2, Barton, and Alex Jones coming in. So Drennan's getting a bit of a rest. Mm. It's a pretty strong side. We've, we've made a couple of changes through fitness and um, fatigue more than more than anything else but um, we, we're looking at uh, Fondop to see if he can uh, re rekindle last year's glory with his golden boot. Yes he, he wasn't too bad at, uh, at all last season and uh, we've also got a player in on loan a Joel Bagan hmm. currently a bit tired so we can't uh, play him but um, he's coming from Cardiff and he's uh, uh, capable of playing at left back and although he's only 19, he might be a decent little cover for that position. Yeah, yeah, we're looking at him to um, probably start start quite a few games behind our, our regular, you know, left back. But, um, yeah, we've got big hopes for him. Absolutely. So um, let's confirm all this and uh, let's get to the match. I don't think the board are really expecting much from the no, cup competition. No. So as long as we're competitive, I think. So that means we're just getting beaten by one goal. <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> that's competitive. <laughs> okay, so there's the uh, the lineup for the two teams. Paul yeah. Tisdale, the uh, rival manager. Yeah. And Anwar reckons go out there and impress me. Hard to argue with that. I think we can be. Can we encourage them? We could. Yeah, go out there and impress me. Okay. Well, a couple of boys liked it. Yeah. Forest Green are in our division? Um, from memory, they are, I think. Mm. I think they are. Well, this will be another another interesting benchmark for us just to see how how we're going to uh, fare in the in the league. Yes, that's, that's right. And this is um, Aldershot getting the game underway. And this is... Edsa and back to Sharif. He's playing in his preferred position today as mm. defensive midfielder. Yeah, his first two starts he hasn't set the world on fire, but we'll, we'll give him a chance to settle in. Yeah, they're a bit scratchy, but anyway, he's only, only early days. This is Edsa oh. with, oh, well, Fondop oh. was homing <laughs> in on that cross. Yeah, could have been a nasty collision. But, um, well, he's a bit of tall timber. He is, he is. He's a big unit, so uh, the goalkeeper would want to get the ball first, I think. He would, yes. Any 50-50 challenges, I think he'll come off, uh, the keeper will come off second best, nine times out of ten. Anyway, waiting for the next highlight, and um, everybody seems to be playing fairly well in the opening ten minutes. Yeah, um, Saxon early too, he's got a little bit to prove for us, because I think he had a, he had a start for us as well, but didn't set the world on fire. Okay, Edsu with a corner from the left. 
Mr. Finney. Finney. Oh, he's done it Finney. again. <laughs> Deja vu. That's right. That's right. So it looks like our uh, attacking the near post on the on the left hand side has paid off again. <coughs> it has, and I think in the other game he actually uh, he got it on the far post, but um, well taken corner, and he beat the keeper. Beat the keeper and also beat the defender on the line. Well, okay. this is most surprising. All right, early days, but rather one nil up than one nil down. Anyway, this is Forest Green now. This will be Tanner, who's getting a run on the right in this match. Looks mm. for Nubel, now fond up to early. Oh, good play. Good play. And oh, I thought that was going to beat the keeper. I thought it had. I thought it had. You he got, got a big left hand pour out. Yeah, I was going to say I might have to clean the glasses. But um, yeah, no, we're uh, we've actually came out of the blocks quite quite solid. So um, although I. I'm assuming Forest Green would want to start attacking us pretty soon. Well, they're the home side, and uh, I think playing a promoted side from the National League, they'd be feeling pretty confident yeah. that they're a better a better team. We'll just keep an eye on some of the fitness, because it was only two days since our last match. Yeah, we made a couple of changes, but mm. hopefully... Oh, well, there, there, there will be tired legs regardless. So, long searching cross. And I think that's... No, it's... This is Cobble for Forest Green. That's headed away by Finney. <clears throat> now Longridge pumps it back. Interesting ball. That's mm. cross over everybody's head. This yeah. is March. Early with a good header. Sweeney to Brunt. Sweeney looking for Koval. That's a Ooh. good pass. Good, good block. block. Now he's offside. Offside. Offside of mine, <clears throat> Your Honour. So some good defending there by Aldershot. Yeah, well, Sendles, White and Finney, they're our, they're our rocks in the middle. So, uh, oh, Tanner. Tanner with a easy second goal Almost from a free a kick. Yeah. Goals from set plays, I don't believe it. <laughs> I wish I could get these in my personal game, but um, oh, <laughs> very rarely. <laughs> very static defence. Tanner goes in yeah. and taps it in. Well, he's a... I think he was well and truly, yes, onside. Yeah. Well, Tanner's making a case for a first, uh, for, for a league start too. Yes, Penny, you two, you better watch out. Yeah. Anyway, this is Sendall's wide up to Fondop. It's a loose header back. Now the goal scorer in Tanny gives it back to Woodward. Now Tanner. Sharif. He's not doing too badly as a no, defensive yeah. midfielder. He's, yeah, I think that's going to be his again. Oh, run. this is number three. Nubel. Unbelievable. 3 0 after what, 31 minutes? It's extraordinary. <clears throat> okay. Well, the, uh, the fairy tale start can, uh, continues. Yes. Yes. No, ride the wave while we can. So, Tanner. Nice cross. Dink wall in. Yeah, header. Yeah, over Fondop or behind Fondop. But uh, Nubel, Nubel with another tap in. So a, a dream start, dare we say. Well, they, um, all the players are playing extremely well. Mm. Um, yeah, stats are quite impressive, as you'd expect, for a 3-0 a a scoreline. They only had seven shots, too, so... Um, They've certainly been very clinical in this opening 45. Yeah. So interesting to see how Forest Green respond. Well, uh, there's an answer there. Um, mm. They're going to try and pull one back if they can. Yeah, those long balls over the top, they continue to plague us, don't they? They can be killers. Yeah. Not Much more often. comfortable with the crosses, though. I mean, Sendles White and Finney in the, in the middle, uh, they can block out 90% of the crosses, but it's that long ball through this is another uh, free kick but Tanner will take it away heaps of space now can he link up with Fondop two on two or maybe the guy main on no it's going to be Fondop oh, oh four. What, a, what a finish I th <laughs> what a finish I thought he was going to lay that square but he's absolutely cracked that with his uh, with his left foot hasn't he well he left? just hit it with his laces good grief 
He did. He just smacked it from just outside the box. I thought he was going to maybe put it out to the right, but um, yeah, well, I, th I thought our Tanner on the on the right, but he's he's smacked that. Gee, four nil. They're or uh, well, Forest Green absolutely got caught out there. They've obviously committed too many people forward. Well, it was a very good counter, and they've been absolutely deadly in the opening forty-five minutes. Yeah, um, with only what ten shots. Seven on target, so and seven of those, four of four have resulted in goals. So very good um, shot to goal conversion rate. Well, okay. Well, Anwar, yes, you've got to be very happy. Keep it. Yeah, I'd say I'd have to agree. Do you want to be assertive, or do you want to lap some praise on that? Um, okay, at four 0 we'll go outstretched arms, but keep it up. Yeah. Yeah. Keep it up. And hopefully they will. <laughs> Yeah. Hopefully they don't get complacent. Yeah. Well, we've all got green smarties down the bottom, so they're, they're all happy. This is Woodward playing it long, but uh, Kitchen will get it back. We'll end of highlight. Yep. No, that's okay. I just don't want to give Forest Green a sniff. This is my my angst moment in the period just after half time. You want to make sure that our talk has been more inspiring than what the opposition's talk has, and we, we're holding them at bay. The Forest Green shot conversion too is pretty, uh, pretty impressive. Five, five shots on target mm. out, of, out of six. So, looks like our keepers uh, having a having a, a day out. Well, everyone's playing well. It goes without saying. Oh yes. Anyway, this is Cadden <coughs> for the Rovers, trying to get past Edson. And you'll play it back to Longridge. Uh, what a very good pass and Sendles White and Woodward. He clears it. Mm. And as far as Sweeney. Good players behind the ball. Easy so one for, for Woodward. Oh, don't do that. What's oh, interesting, <laughs> he got away with it to Newball. Now this mm. Fondop, I think, might be onside. I thought he was just marginally off. Oh, disallowed, yeah. offside. Yeah, okay. That's a bit of bad luck. Yeah. It couldn't have been offside by much. No. Take my referee's head off. Well, this is Brunt putting it out to, or trying mm. to put it to Koval. Uh, Easily cut Edza. out. He's going to go right, maybe, to Tanner. Beat his man. Been another one. Draw a penalty. Oops. Oh, Riding three. a tackle back to Edsa. Oh, Ooh, that's a vicious shot. That have stung his hands. Uh, corner or throw in? I think it's a throw in, throw yes. In. I thought he was going to belt it out for a corner. Well, we're coming up to 60 minutes. Some of the uh, boys are getting a little bit weary. Tired of scoring goals. So maybe uh, we should put some fresh legs on there. Yeah, maybe look at bolstering our, our midfield or defence. Well, we'll come up to, uh, say, 65 minutes and we'll make a change or two. Right. And I think um, I don't know. Maybe um, give um, Langston a mm. bit of a run. Um, yeah. The young uh, Loney. Yeah, we can play him anywhere. So I think he'll. Uh, he hasn't got any side Central. preference. So maybe bring him on for. Um, I don't know. Maybe uh, Sendall's White. Yeah. Put him on the right there and. Um, that's someone in midfield. What midfield, about? well, got Jay Barton. Barton, yeah. Bring I mean, he can play defensive or in the midfield. Um, bring him on for, what, early or it's... Uh, well, you can take both a are actually playing actually quite well. I mean, early actually needs to prove himself. Mm. So maybe maybe give him another 10 minutes. Another 10, do you reckon? Yeah, well, I mean, we, okay. we were a little bit disappointed with early in the first game, but he's, he's certainly redeemed himself here, so... OK, well, one just one change with uh, Langston. And so maybe after 75, bring him on. Or bring him off, rather. Maybe give uh, Jones a run up front as well. Yeah, that he was, uh, he was a little bit upset with us last year. Um... Yes, that's a bit of an understatement. <laughs> he was quite pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, well, this is a corner now for Forest Green. Evans, the taker. And oh, woodwork. Spoke. Somebody headed that away. Was it the woodwork or a, he or a header? I don't know. It's either woodwork or woodwood. No, <laughs> anyway, this is Tanner with a good run. He's made it all the way up. Oh, this oh, is Noble. He's offside, surely. Ah, yes, yes. Well, nice move. Yeah. Good pass to find the space. Yeah, just uh, Joel ran a couple of metres too far. Mm. Oh, not much in it. Maybe S just half a step. Yeah. Well, finish that. It was. It was a good finish. Yeah, so maybe, uh, oh, Noobles, he's tanked out. Look, yeah, he's getting a little bit tight out there. Um, as says Finney. What can we do? What can we do? Well, Jones can play on the right. Yeah. Yeah, Jones for Noobles. Yeah. Maybe shift Tanner across to the left and we'll put... Jones there. I think Jones is a, uh, a mm. right, so he can play. Uh, he can play a winger. Maybe slow the pace down a little bit too. And Tanner, who is a lefty, he can play a winger. Yeah. And um, <clears throat> well, I don't think Forest Green are really going to cause us too many worries. No, that's at this stage of the game. I think. Uh, Surprised there's so many green shirts left in the crowd. I thought they would have all gone home. Anyway, this is Tanner to Early, who hasn't had a bad game in midfield, which is good to see. Mm. Now Tanner again. Sharif. Now Woodward. He's played well at, uh, at uh, right back. It's certainly been uh, no underperformance in our in our side. We've done well. Uh, this is Fondop. And we have a crack. Oh, Ooh. he's got it. Number five. Well. And assist by Saxon early as well. So Fondop's reminding us that uh, that he's still around as well. So He's going to give Drennan maybe a run for his money as uh, the uh, the starting striker. Mm. Um, that's for sure. He's made himself hard to ignore. <laughs> well, he was very good for us last season. He was. So, he um, was. Top scorer by a country mile, I think, too, from oh, memory. Oh, I think he was, yes. <laughs> was, was he division's top scorer? Can't remember now. He would have been right up there, I think, in the uh, mm. maybe the top three. Got a feeling he came third, I think. Last minute sub. Um, can we do any more, do you think? I think we've only made two, haven't we? We have indeed. So, um, who would you like to bring on? Maybe Barton? Yeah, Barton for... Edson. for yeah, it's a. Don't know where Barton can be. Yeah, he's one of our younger players, so it's just basically getting a, maybe a ball winning midfielder. He's there's two stars there. Oh, support. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. You can have a bit of a run. Yeah, he's. Oh. This is Kitching with the header now. Young can Ooh. maybe lead a counter attack here for the Rovers. This is Stevens. He plays it all the way back to Wilson. I'm actually surprised. I thought Forest Green would have committed more troops forward, but I mean, maybe they they got punished on the counter attack more than once. So they haven't really pressured us at all. Well, I don't know whether they've fielded their uh, their full strength squad for this um, cup game, but no. um, they've certainly been outplayed. And, and this is Woodward. Yeah, hard to get a gauge on cup. I mean, they may not be taking it as serious as what we are, but certainly a 5-0. This is Fondop. Oh, Ooh. could have been six. Could have been a hat-trick. Um, we certainly take the cup runs seriously, so... Give the boys a bit of praise because mm. it's been an excellent match. Yeah. 16 shots to seven. An XG of 1.5. Well, they've certainly been the better better team. Tanner in an acre of space. So maybe it's not over yet. Oh, Tanner. Dinky ball across. No. Just keeps it in. Oh, corner. Oh, corner. <laughs> Only oh. two minutes of out of time. Yeah, where's Mr Finney? New post? Ooh, no. just missed it. No. I think someone was holding him back. 
Now Stevens plays it back to to Francis, and this is probably going to be the last piece of action in the game. Mm. Comprehensive victory. Wilson with a... I don't know what that was. <laughs> if it was a shot, it was way off target. Yeah, it wasn't a cross, it wasn't a shot. And this is Jones. Did well to win that. And that's it, 5-0. Five 5-0 nil. Five nil away from home. Good grief. Happy days. Absolutely. Um, a very comprehensive uh, win right across the board. Mm. So um, the great form continues. And um, yeah, give me a bit of, yeah, well done. Go with the recommendation. Mm. Oh, Mr. Finney's still our equal top scorer there with two goals. Yes, yes, he is. Yes, he's playing very well. Um, <laughs> for a central defender in front of goals. <laughs> yeah, five star all the shot. So that was, um, yeah, ex excellent, um, excellent game. Um, that's right, we were not expecting to progress past the first round. So the, the, the board will be certainly delighted. Mm. And Langston made his debut for Aldershot as well. Yeah. And classy Fondop uh, <laughs> on form with two goals and got yes. to give him some praise. We do. Shake him by the hand and yeah. he'll like that. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> so there we go. Um, another successful um, game mm. for Aldershot. Um, now, looking at the schedule, we've got Scunthorpe and Crawley uh, in the league. And then we've got the second round of the Carabao Cup again. Do you mm. want to come back for another cup game? Oh, I think we could. Or do you want to come back for the Papa John? Um, the first game in the group stage against Bournemouth under 23s. Yeah, um, either or. I'm, I'm not fussed. I mean, I, I'm always a fan of cup games because anything can happen in those. Um, but the cup games don't have anything to do, any real impact on our, our league form. So, dealer's choice, what would you like? Well, I'll tell you what, we'll, um, we'll come back for it. Since, since we didn't, did so well in the first round, let's come back for the second mm. to see whether we can make it through to the third round. Mm. Um, we don't know who we're going to be playing playing against. So, um, we'll do that. We'll come mm. back for that uh, uh, second round match. So, that's the, uh, the video for today. I hope yep. you've enjoyed the, uh, the match. Uh, we certainly have. Yeah. I'm Barry Foster. Until next time, it's goodbye from me. And it's goodbye from him. See you next time.